He's been wondering why people hate this country but still choose to live here. Start the clock. Yes, people chose to hate our bumper post-Brexit trans-Pacific trade deal, not because it's a bad deal, but because they hate Britain. But they don't just hate that, do they? Why are they so miserable? They think we've got a rubbish human rights record. Well, we beat the Nazis, set at the Convention on Human Rights, stuck to that more than 95% of other countries. And you know what? We're not leaving it anytime soon. They say we're all racist. We've got an ethnic minority prime minister, an ethnic minority home secretary. We used to have an ethnic minority chancellor. We've got an ethnic minority first minister of Scotland. Not very racist, if you ask me. Women's rights, gay rights and trans rights. Oh, all right, why don't you try your luck in the Middle East, in Africa or parts of Eastern Europe? or you wouldn't because they'd lynch you. Yes, so there you go. <laughs> Net zero. They say we're not doing enough. We're reducing carbon emissions more than most other, if not all, G20 nations. And we won't even throw you in prison if you lob yourself in front of a Formula One car like a... And also, I think that Britain, if it is so bad, then why is everyone trying to come and live here? If you don't like it, you can sod off. <laughs> Well, there you go. Oh, all right. Well, yes, there we go. No, no, I just seriously think it's an absolutely fantastic country. We've given the world football, cricket, Greg's, some good music as well. You know what? It's better than any other country in the world for me.